Utah. Um, I'm going to do a craft tonight. I, you're probably like me. You save things and kind of figure you're going to do something with them at some point. I've had this origami pinwheel shaped thing for uh, a long time, and it it opens up and you could do stuff with it. Um, well, I wanted to make it more like a wreath. So I've got this one here that I made, and it's only colored on one side. It's a, a craft paper that's only colored on one side. But with a little gold around the edges, it looks very elegant. And you can put a message inside. Or wait, wait until you see this. Look at this one. And this doesn't have to be Christmassy either. This could be something springy, maybe. Um, just a flower, a little way to say hello, and there's a chocolate inside of it, which I'm going to eat later when I'm watching the other crafts. Um, so when I rounded off the edges, I kind of thought it started looking like a snowflake. So I started cutting here and cutting there and put on some sparkly glitter and I'm just going to say it one more time, but everybody knows my, oh, here it is. My Christmas tree is covered with ornaments, photo ornaments. All of my ornaments on my Christmas tree are photos. And that's a picture of my granddaughter, Evelyn. So that's one option, too. Um, okay, so let's get started. And if, if you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and post a, uh, I'll post the drawing so that you can see how to do it yourself. Um, and I have a craft cam song. I'm so excited. Da -na -na -na, da -na, da -na. Camera time. Is there a slide to put up or something or anything? To, that's all right. Okay. It's going on right now. All right. So I have, wow. All right. I traced it on paper. And then I cut it out. And this one has all the lines on it that where you fold. So you can see how it's done. Um, and I'm going to put the lines on the outside. What what you have basically here is um, six sets of double petals. So this is one, sorry, one double petal. That right there. Okay. And you're going to fold two petals at a time. So you can see there's a line there. And then you're going to turn it, and you're still going to have one of the petals that you just folded, but you're going to fold it with the next one. So let me get started and show you. All right, so there's my first fold. And my second. See, I'm incorporating one from the last one each time I fold. Like so. And then when you've gone all the way around, you're going to fold each of the petals in half, but only down to the outer corner of the um, hexagon that's on the bottom. So you just, I, I kind of hold it in my hand so the center doesn't get folded down, but I'll put it down and fold them like that, fold the petals like that. If you're using cardstock, by all means, use a bone folder so you get some really nice creases. All right. So this is the tricky part. Pay attention. You put one petal together, and then you put the next petal together. Can you see that? And then as you grab the third petal, you'll notice that the lines in between the petals are being folded in. So I'm going to fold another line in and another petal. And then the last one comes together like that, and it lays down, just like that. And I added the other lines, the little, where is it, the little clippy lines like that to show where you could cut it for it to be a snowflake. Oh, all right. So um, I can post that later. If you're interested, and I have one more to show you, you won't believe it. What do you think it is? 
It's burnt brown bag. Woo this is so awesome. And this is um, three layers of brown paper bag. All right, I am going to learn this. One. Here we go. Okay. And it's got a little bit of um, metallic stamps on it. And it opens up so lovely. And it's sturdy enough so that, you know, it could even sit out as a candy bowl. What do you think about that? I love that. Are there any questions about this? Did I go too fast? It does almost look like leather, yes. Is the glue side out? Oh, you do glue, glue on both sides. You, um, um, I, I cut out three squares of brown paper bag and I glued them together. And you can find this demo on, um, on the Cool to Craft site. Heidi's done it and Tiffany's done it. Um, so you got your three layers of brown paper bag glued together. And then you start with this. I did one section at a time. And you brush the glue on. And then you hold it over a candle flame, and it browns. And then you kind of burnish off the charred parts, the soot, and then you can add um, whatever kind of metallics you want to use. OK, any other questions? Oh, and you turn over if you turn it over and do the glue on the backside, too. So all the surfa surfaces are um, burnt. <laughs>